All right, so today we have a review on a pair of sneakers that I've been excited to get this year. This is the Hoka Clifton 8. Uh, as you guys may or may not know, the Hoka Clifton 7 was my very first taste of the Clifton model, and I gotta say it's definitely one of my favorite Hoka models uh, that they have out there, and I've tried like four of them so far. So this one's by far my favorite. Definitely has a lot of cloud-like sensation. Soft, squishy ride on the bottom of these guys. Very comfortable, and so now we have the updated version with the eights. So I wanted to give you guys kind of a heads up on these, let you guys know my thoughts and compare them to the sevens. Let's go ahead and jump in. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. Hope you guys are having a good day out there. And if you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Notification bell to be notified of when my videos are posted. Uh, and if you guys wanna buy a pair of these, check the link in the description. Or if you guys are after the late model, go ahead and link the description as well because these are now like probably $30 cheaper uh, because the newest version came out. So is it worth paying the full price on these versus getting the other ones at discount? Well, it just depends on you as a consumer out there. I'll let you guys know from the beginning of the video without beating around the bush, they're both fundamentally very, very similar. I do like some stylings of the eights versus the sevens, but overall comfort of the sevens is pretty much on par with the comfort of the eights. So if you're looking to save 30 bucks, go ahead and get the late model. There's no problem with that at all. If you want the latest and greatest, so the brand new ones just came in. So uh, the extra money is worth it if you're wanting to buy that. It's the same as if you guys are like trying to buy like a new car or something like that, where you have uh, the opportunity to buy a late model at a discount, or you get the latest and greatest version. Sometimes the only things that they change is the tail light shapes and the, the body's the same, the engine's the same, everything else is, is pretty much the same, a couple little tweaks in the interior, and then that's pretty much it. You're just paying more for the premium because it's the newer model. And sometimes it's a completely ground up rebuild of the body of the car and you know the rims and, and the interior is completely different and everything else, and the, the engine may be better. The same thing with sneakers. Sometimes you get a ground up build, sometimes you don't, and it's just the upper little tweaks here and there that's different. Save yourself the extra money if you guys just really care about the overall comfort, get the previous version. That being said, having them side by side, I gotta say I do like the eights better. I think it looks a little bit more attractive than the sevens do, which some people are gonna be like, they look exactly the same. And you know, part of it's the color blockings that I chose. I don't really love this colorway with the blue and the weird teal. And uh, this one is really clean with black and white. It's very, very simple. And I think because of it, uh, I like it better. So the Hoka Clifton 8, in my opinion, fits true to size. I did go with a wide version and I, I do actually like the wide version for my feet better because I do have a wider foot. Uh, but I would say true to size and the retail is $130. So to read the description from Hoka's website, it says the latest in the award-winning Clifton franchise, the Clifton 8 continues to deliver the perfect combination of soft and light. Crafted with a lighter, more responsive midsole, and the same ride characteristics, the Clifton 8 features a streamlined silhouette and updated upper made from engineered mesh. New midsole compound offers our lightest, most energetic foam to date. Why you'll love it, we keep what you love and update what you didn't. Features a breathable mesh upper, a gusseted tongue, EVA foam, early stage meta rocker, uh, extended pull tab, high abrasion rubber, and a flat waisted geometry. So I'm not really sure why they say it's lighter. This one actually weighs more than this one, but this is the wide version. This is the standard version. And if I put them side by side, it's a very minor difference uh, from the width from this one to this one. So uh, yeah, I don't know. The, the weight feels like it's pretty much on par with the previous version. That's just my two cents and just the overall weight feels very, very similar. It's not heavy by any means. It's not the lightest thing out there. It's roughly nine ounces for the shoes. But I do like the updated mesh on the version eight. I also like the uh, updated tongue on here. The tongue is actually a lot more softer and squishier and like more plush than the previous version. Also the overall material used for the padding, it feels like it's a little more padding back here. And the material is softer on this like nylon-y or something versus uh, this one. So. It is softer and a little bit more cushion on the newer version, and so definitely kudos to them for, for making some changes there. They definitely changed the midsole on the eights. However, the overall fit on feet and feel on feet feels very, very similar to what you had in this one. And I tried them both on side by side, closed my eyes and just walked around a little bit. And uh, you know, they again, they just felt so similar. I couldn't really say, yeah, this one's so much, much better than the, the previous one, but they're both extremely good. So that's why it's like, it's like probably just a small little uh, fine tuning that they made on the newer version that makes it any any bit better than the previous. I do like the chevrons down the middle of the shoe on the eights versus 
The sevens didn't really have that. I think it looks cooler on this one. But again, functionally, I just don't see it making that much more of a difference. They also changed the back tab a little bit as well. I'm not sure if this is gonna be as durable as this one, just because this is like fused on on the sevens. This is not fused on. It's kind of like a neoprene covering over top of a hard um, heel cup on it. But it looks cool though. I like the, the overall look of this one. Uh, but uh, I think that the fused material is probably a little bit more durable. Also, speaking of fused material, they have the extra reinforcement on the toe. On the sevens, uh, they don't really have that reinforcement uh, right there. So, you know, that might be something that has a little bit more wear and tear. You do have two little eyes, it looks like, right there on the shoe at, for a little reflective hit, it looks like. But, um, but it doesn't have as much um, right here. So, again, I don't know why it would be better. It's, they just change things. The overall look of the eights versus the sevens on the midsole, I think because of the, the angle of the, the lines and maybe just because it's black versus white contrast, it looks faster than this one. And you know, it's again, because of the black versus white and the, or the black versus blue, I guess in this case, because the extra cushioning material on this one is colored and this one is black. So it just kind of just blends in a little bit better on this one. Feels faster, looks faster, all in all, just a better colorway. One other thing I did want to mention is the Hoka Clifton series in general, if you've tried other Hoka models and they felt like too much crazy rocker sensation, I, I'm not a huge fan of that in general of the really high platform ultra cushion rockers. Like um, this is kind of like that, but it's like, they, they kind of call it out. It's not like a full rocker or whatever the, their technical branding is for their, their rocking motion. There's some other versions that have a, a way too exaggerated that I'm just like, this isn't fun at all from a casual perspective. This is the model though that I absolutely love. Uh, it doesn't have too much of a crazy rocking motion. There is a lot of soft squishy feel underfoot. And uh, because of that, it's like the perfect combination in my opinion. So if you're looking for something that has a crazy amount of soft, squishy feel, this is max cushion in every sense of the word. The only thing that I would say is somewhat comparative to the way that these feel on feet is that New Balance Fresh Foam uh, More V2 or V3s. Those ones, the trail ones I just did a review on have a very, very similar feel to these on feet. Uh, so if you like that, then definitely you're gonna like these. If you like these, then you're definitely gonna like those uh, for those people that just like the overall uh, styling and, and fit of what these things offer. So is it worth paying $130 for these shoes? I mean, in my opinion, absolutely yes. The price point is really pretty decent at that. $130 for really, really good cushioning on a pair of sneakers. That being said, is it that much better than the sevens? I would say no. I would say I like the color blocking or some of the styles better on the eights. It's definitely more cushioned around the collar. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, then eights over the sevens. But if you're interested in saving more money, that extra 30 bucks could go towards your groceries or something like that. Just go with the sevens at that discounted price right now, which is pretty decent if you ask me as well. So that's my thoughts. Leave some comments in the comment section. What do you guys think? And if you do run in these sneakers, leave a comment for other people to see uh, what you think about these shoes from a runner's perspective. Because I'm only giving you a perspective from somebody that wears these sneakers on a casual side of things, which these are amazing from a casual side for those wondering. Uh, but from the runner's perspective, I'm curious to see what you guys say. But anyways, if you guys have suggestions for sneakers that you guys are interested in that have cushioning or comfort or technology involved with any of that, I'm chasing it. So uh, leave a comment and let me know. Hit me up on Twitter or whatever and let me know you found something that I need to check out. Drop a like on the video if you guys liked the video and hopefully we'll see you guys back for some more videos. All right, peace guys.